it's sunny now, but it seems like nowadays if it rains, it floods. It's Oof, a major issue yeah. in our area. Most standard home ins homeowners insurance policies do not cover flood damage, which is why it's crucial for homeowners in flood hazard zones to get coverage. Oh, yes, 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 Brittany. I know you know a lot about mm -hmm. that. But what happens when you believe your policy was in effect and then you get flooded and your claim is denied? Well, I could tell you one thing. You want to get Nina Pineda and seven on your side if that's the case. Oh, yeah. Nina. Oof. You know, a New Jersey homeowner was told that his uh, that FEMA covered his home because it was after Hurricane Ida, one of those dozens of areas declared a federal yeah. disaster by President Biden when we had such devastating damage. But then when that monster nor'easter, um, and I don't know if we're calling it that, that happened just before Christmas. You, you can clarify that, Brittany. Yeah. FEMA reversed course and then actually said his house wasn't covered, wasn't insured. It was a powerful and destructive storm days before last Christmas. It just felt like a regular storm when it started. And then before you knew it, there's just water everywhere. The major flooding across four states dumped three feet of water inside Taiwan Mata's newly built Roselle home. So it got up to the top step? Yeah. And was it going in the house from this way? It was, yeah. It, the water came inside here. Mm -hmm. He quickly filed a damage claim, hoping to get ahead of the mold and mildew in the drywall of his basement. Taiwan was relieved because two years ago, FEMA declared his home was in a special flood hazard area and eligible for a three-year group flood insurance policy. Did you even know that was a thing? No. So FEMA says, You're, here's some money. We're buying this policy for you. Yes, I felt comfortable. Taiwan was shocked when he got this letter from FEMA. Your claims denied because you're not in a flood zone. I felt like my house had fell on top of me. Now he was in a race against time, watching his investment rot from the rain. The social worker who's launching a brand new caregiving business could not afford the repairs. I don't have the money to pay it. He says his calls to FEMA to explain the flip-flop on flood coverage went nowhere. I don't know what to do, um, and I called seven on your side. So we contacted FEMA and asked them to take another look at the flood zone mapping here. And after about two weeks of meetings, the federal agency apologized, admitting its mistake, reinstated his flood insurance policy, and even cut him a check for that damage claim. Words can't express my appreciation. FEMA cut him a check for almost $6,000 and we'll review another damage claim for more. Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I love you. I love when people tell me they love me. You never tell me you love me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but that, 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 that insurance was reinstated retroactive. Mm. Yeah. When does that ever happen? When do you, when do you ever come up an insurance up against an insurance company and they say, oh, you know, so we reverse course. So FEMA added that they're, they're going to continue to work directly with him until all the issues are, are completely resolved because he got flooded again. And that they're closely examining the need to implement safeguards to prevent similar occurrences from happening again. That's huge because he had a unique situation because of where his house is, but that they're going to, FEMA going to take a look at how they qualify all these people oh. and how that their their grants get reinstated right. because you know it's it's very important as you know this is so destructive this is your wheelhouse Brittany we yeah. see it happening so much more yeah and places that don't even flood get flooded that's the thing so what if you don't qualify for a FEMA grant what are you supposed to do well it's very important to get flood insurance on your own because it does not renew every year. Every year you have to get a new policy. Um, and as you're seeing, we, if you're not in a flood zone, you still get flooded, so getting a policy is a must. The average cost is about 800 annually. That can go up or down, but remember, regular homeowner's insurance does not cover flood. So as we saw with Superstorm Sandy, if your house is paid off and your lender doesn't require it, you didn't carry it, you had to walk away from your entire property because you just, it was a total loss. Mm. And that was a big problem for our area. Yeah, it was so terrible. I mean, I'm thinking back, you know, where my parents live in Queens, so many people were so impacted by Ida and they still are today. Yeah, and then every time it rains, today. where do we go? Yeah. Go to Queens, because there's gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. We put a lot of, there's a lot of questions about this because, it, it, because so many people are impacted. Yeah. Flood insurance is the most common a problem that happens and it's also the most costly mm. so everyone's putting in for that so go to the website we put a lot of FAQs on there frequently asked questions uh, from FEMA that you can figure out hey maybe I get covered maybe I can get some help they underwrite it with the National Flood Insurance Program so you need to really check but most importantly 
get covered if you're not. Yeah, especially do that on a day like today mm -hmm. where it's nice yes. and sunny. Don't yep. wait until you're, it's too late. You exactly. Yeah. Some of those areas get hit twice. Yeah. You have the initial flooding and then the river flooding yeah. on the back end. Nina, yeah. we love you. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> see? see? Everyone needs see. a group hug here. I told you I love you back in London when I, you know, when I'm. I know you love me.